What's good, peeps? Happy Saturday afternoon. T-Money up in the heezy. Hope everybody's doing well today. Um, happy Saturday. Beautiful day here. Um, really shouldn't be in here right now doing this video, but it's kind of the end of the afternoon, so um, I feel like I've gotten enough accomplished today, so uh, um, I can justify taking the time to do this video. What am I talking about? I don't know. Hope everybody's um, enjoying your weekend so far. Um, so yeah, I got a bunch of stuff in the mail today. What the fuck is new? Not really much, but, um, um, what was I going to say? So nobody, not a single person has entered or commented on, um, my video for, um, I'll sell your dead. I'll take your dead. Sorry. I'll take your dead. Uh, not to be confused with that other movie. Uh, we, I sell the dead. I'll take your dead. Nobody has uh, commented, so I don't know. Um, I guess nobody wants that movie then, so maybe we should just scrap that. Um, doesn't matter to me one way or the other, but I don't know. Um, I never really did set a deadline on it, so I'm going to leave it out there. We'll see what happens, I guess, and uh, if nobody comments within a day or two or whatever, then um, I'll probably just take it down or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll just throw it in like a, a thousand subscriber contest. Maybe that's what I'll do. I don't know. But anyways, um, a stack of flicks came in the mail today mostly. Um, big package from Diabolic DVD that I saved to unbox. And let's get into it. There's actually a few DVDs today. Like that's a bad thing. Not at all. Um, so we'll start with those though. Um, so there's a YouTuber by the name of Horror Show Entertainment, I believe. It's really, really strange because the, um, he had a, he had another channel called Horror Show um, something or other, and that's how I knew him. Um, his name's Brian, by the way, but uh, shout out to Horror Show Entertainment. And I, I guess what happened was he decided to just kind of, he had two channels and he decided to just... Uh, combine everything and in over into just one and I had no idea he has like 60,000 subscribers so he's huge um, uh, and he's really fun I like him uh, he's a good seems like he's a really good guy he loves reading and horror and stuff like that so here's a little shout out uh, to him because I watched one of his I've been watching his videos uh, recently as I switched over to horror show entertainment um, and he does like these kill count movies uh, reviews and whatnot, a lot of creature features too. So I picked up a couple titles based on um, him discuss his discussing, based on his recommendation. I guess I can't remember if he recommended them or not, but I picked them up through watching his channel. So Python, we have a killer creature feature, obviously killer snake movie, uh, kind of rare I think, but I was able to get it pretty cheap. Um, I'm glad I I went on. Um, Amazon and it was I think it was either vice versa or eBay and on one of those um, platforms it was super expensive it was like 80 bucks so I'm glad that I went to the other and I found it for like 3.95 shipped mint condition so uh, yeah killer snake movie starring Robert England and Casper Van Dien so um, what year is this from 2000 so I'm excited to check that one out it's summertime I tend to like creature features a little bit more in the summer because it's warmer and it's just a better time, I think, for creature features, maybe. I don't know, unless they're snowy creature features. But another one uh, based on his recommendation, Creepy Crawlers. Not to be confused with Creepy Crawling, I think. There's another anthology film um, with a very similar name that Mr. Park actually recommended. I picked that up a while ago, and I enjoyed m most of it. Uh, but this one is called Ke Creepy Crawlers, and it is from... 2002 um, and it's just another movie involving killer insects I believe um, so cockroaches killer cockroaches so yes grab that one as well creepy crawlers fun goodness so awesome those were dirt cheap so I was happy to swoop them up and then I grabbed um, this TV show because I've never seen it before and I love are you afraid of the dark I grew up on are you afraid of the dark uh, and Tales from the Crypt, I know it's a little bit more PG-13, um, but, or R, I guess, but, uh, Erie, Indiana, seems like a fun show, 
um, in the vein of Are You Afraid of the Dark, um, and Goosebumps and stuff like that. Uh, so it's about some kids living in this, the town of Erie, and there's some uh, strange occurrences they think is going on, and there's 19 episodes in this set. I'm not sure if this is the entire thing, but it says, For the first time on DVD, follow Marshall and Simon through 19 episodes of Weirdness and Incredible Adventures. Uh, so, yeah, but it doesn't say anywhere on here. Oh, the complete series. Yes, it does, right smack in the middle. So, awesome. So, I don't know if they did what they did here. If 19 episodes was one series, or if it's just the combination of the whole show on one, seems to be, uh, one, two, three, four, five discs, maybe, unless there's, let's see how they're stacked. I didn't even look at this yet. Um... I think it's Canadian TV show as well. It could be wrong about that. Yeah, so there's one disc in each um, case, and they're the slim cases. And they all, well, that one seems to be mint condition, so I think we're good here. So, yeah, I uh, wanted to pick this one up as well. This is out of print as well, and I got it for a pretty decent price. I don't even remember what I paid for it, but I think it was a decent price. Um, all right, so on to the stuff that I picked up over the last few days. So first up, um, we have Never Open the Door. Never seen this movie before, and I don't know if it's black and white, but based on the synopsis, I really wanted to pick it up. It's a group of like friends. They go stay in this secluded cabin. Uh, something really weird happens, and one of the friends comes back, and she's different. Um, it, ri it reminds me of um, that other slasher movie, uh, Lake Nowhere, the premise, but um, and somehow they tie into the door. Um, never open the cabin door and leave. I don't know, something like that. But it sounded good. Uh, three couples enjoying Thanksgiving dinner in a secluded cabin in the woods when they're interrupted by an unprecedented event that will change their lives forever. A stranger comes to the door. He's severely wounded. They let him in. He throws up blood on Tess and dies while uttering his last words, never open the door. The group is dumbfounded and starts to panic. Tess goes to wash off the blood and soon after disappears from the cabin. When a different Tess comes to the door, unaware of what just had happened, the stranger, uh, with the stranger occurrence, the remaining friends start to argue as terrifying events begin to unfold in the cabin. Who will open the door and who will escape the cabin in the woods? Uh, I don't know. Seems like it should have been called The Cabin in the Woods, but there's so many other movies with that title that we... They probably couldn't do that, but uh, Vito Trabuca is the director. Don't know who he is. Uh, Malturo Entertainment, Malturo Entertainment, something like that. Uh, yeah, if any of you guys have seen this one, let me know. Is it black and white? Uh, I couldn't find it on the bottom here, but the stills are all in black and white, and so is the cover, so uh, we'll see. And then I grabbed, um, I feel like I'm forgetting something here. I am. Yes, okay, it's behind me. So I grabbed this um, double feature of Swamp Thing and Return to Swamp Thing um, from NSM Records from Amazon Germany. Uh, the price was right. It's limited. I got number 204 out of 222. So, yeah, uh, sweet. And I had picked up Return to Swamp Thing uh, also. I didn't really need this because this is both films on one, but I love NSM Records, and these are pretty sweet looking media books so they're all sealed up right now so I'm not going to open them but uh, super cool and then I grabbed I had to do this okay so I love this movie Blood on Satan's Claw I think it's crazy fun I love the premise um, takes place in 17th century England in a remote village um, and it's just crazy it's kind of like a I guess a killer kids flick sort of um, and yeah, it's shit goes down in this village. A group of kids form this murderous coven, and um, of course, all hell breaks loose. Um, it actually says all hell breaks loose. That's funny. Uh, so I uh, yes, um, I won't read the synopsis, but they discover this magical skull, and after the skull goes missing, the kids start to go cra crazy, pretty much cray cray. Uh, but blood on uh, Satan's claw. So uh, I whipped this out because recently, um, this is all region as well. This is a UK release, but I grabbed this release of the film and it's kind of funny because it's got this thing going on and the, the image actually doesn't match up. It's a cool slip, but 
uh, it doesn't match up with, <laughs> it just cuts her eye off. I thought that was kind of funny. Because usually isn't it supposed to be like, I mean, I get it that it's a, a bird, but I don't know. It's just weird that the ha half the face is cut off. But um, anyways, uh, this is a nice release. This is 4K, um, a 4K scan, and there are only 4,000 of these made. I got this on Zavi, uh, and I got number 2797 out of 4,000. So um, 4K master of a film that I enjoy quite a bit, so I wanted to grab that. Nice slip cover. There's also still cards and, I think, a booklet or a poster that comes inside. I got to learn how to edit my videos because I love how when, like, like Mr. Parka does it, um, when he's, when he's like, showing, like, the specs and the insides of a disc, he'll, like, pan to his hands going through it all nice. I love that. I'm definitely not that tech savvy. But, yeah, so it looks like a booklet and uh, a poster. So that's awesome. Uh, reversal cover artwork, but it's the same artwork. It's just without the ratings logo, so that's always cool. So, yes, really happy I grabbed this one. Kind of pricey. Screenbound entertainment, but it's limited, so I wanted to grab it. Um, awesome. All right, and I grabbed, of course, from Scream Factory, the Universal Horror Collection. We have the Black Cat, all starring Boris Karloff, or I'm sorry, Bella Lugosi. Um, and Karloff. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, there are so many movies titled The Black Cat that I start to get confused. There's Fulci's The Black Cat. There's Argento's The Black Cat, I think. Um, and then there's The Black Cat. And then there's The Black Cat that um, Severin released, I think. I, I don't know. But this is a universal uh, uh, set. It's got four or five discs in it on a swing tray. Four films. Black Cat... Uh, from uh, 1934, The Raven from 1935, uh, The Invisible Ray from 1936, and uh, Black Friday from 1940. So, cool. Four Universal Horror Films starring the greats, uh, Lugosi and Karloff. So, awesome. Really nice release. And there's a Universal Horror Collection Volume 2 that's already up for pre-order and coming out, I think, pretty soon from Scream Factory. So, it's a sweet release. Uh, not much in the way of features, but um, but there are some new audio commentaries and um, there are a few uh, feature or, um, featurettes, interviews and, and stuff like that. So, super cool. So, I can't wait to check these out. Love me some old school Universal Horror. Uh, even though I like Hammer a bit more. I grew up with Hammer, but... Because my dad, but... I like Universal, of course. Alright, and now, last but not least, we have a package from Jesse. Really excited for some of the stuff that's in here. And, let's see... Alrighty. Always packaged with finesse and love. got media books galore today and one so we have basically three media books sort of media book ish and defcon 4 from arrow not familiar with this movie uh but i think it's like sci-fi uh it's a 1980s okay it says in the eight, 1980s faced with the demise of the drive-in and the rise of the multiplex new world pictures the independent studio established by roger corman Increasingly re relied on smaller scale productions made with an eye to the cable TV and home video markets. Among these was DEFCON 4, an example of the so called Canuck exploitation or Canadian exploitation cinema. Um, riding on the coattails of the boom and post apocalyptic disaster movies that began in the previous decade. Two months after the planet is ravaged by nuclear war, astronauts Jordan Lynch and Walker are forced to return to Earth, now an apocalyptic wasteland um, consumed by radiation and roamed by cannibal gangs. Forced into desperate packs with unlikely allies, uh, sorry, uh, among them eccentric survivalist Vinny, um, the astronauts must draw on all their resourcefulness to survive in this brave new world. 
Bearing more than a passing resemblance to George Miller's Ausploitation classic Mad Max, Defcon 4 is an inventive and action-packed low-budget sci-fi romp elevated by a pounding score by Christopher Young, who did Hellraiser, um, and making its UK high-definition debut with its brand-new restoration from our video. So this is Region B, um, and it sounds like um, Mad Max meets um, Hardware, sort of. Something like that, but uh, Defcon 4, so that's super cool. I actually really dig the reversible cover artwork in this case, so we're going to display that one, and I think this is coming out soon. I think uh, Jesse might have gotten it a little bit early, but really nice booklet inside. Let me see what the J card is, too, because y'all know how I do with those. Uh, another one of the forbidden photos. Um, but, yeah, I love putting the uh, cards with the movies, so... It's just something fun that I like to do, but yeah, DEFCON 4, I love that cover artwork, it's awesome. So, there's that one, and then, um, I grabbed, let's see, uh-oh, here we go again. Um, so, um, okay, I love this movie so 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 much um night of death synapse films released this um it's really really creepy and when i saw that uh this was released by okay so this is the same company that did the um i think it's the bloody the bloody rose or the blood rose movie that i showed off recently same style packaging it's um I don't know the company's name i the cat that cat resembles um i forget the name of the company but this movie's really good and i've been thinking about it a lot lately and um it needing a blu-ray release so when i saw that this company i don't know if they're uk based or uh where they're where they're from um i was like hell yeah i'll buy this because I, I love night of death if you guys haven't seen it i highly recommend you check it out it's really creepy and I think this woman, she becomes like a nurse in this nursing home and there's stuff going on and the characters are so good and I'm trying to get this out, but it's not coming. It's nice and tight in there. Let's see. A little bit of juice. All right, sweet. So, oh yeah, there's a bloody graphic pic that I'm covering the nipple of. I love this movie. Night of Death. This guy in particular, make sure there's nothing, um, is just so creepy in the film right there. Love him. But I don't know, all these, all the actors that play like the, uh, insane patients in this, um, uh, nursing home in this movie are really creepy. They're just really, really good. But this is a beautiful release. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, La Nuit de la Mort, but it means Night of Death. And this company I recently heard of, it's kind of ironic that Jesse got these in because um, Mondo Macabro had this movie, The Blood Rose, for sale, and they sold out of it. And they suggested that um, you go directly to this website, uh, La Boutique, Kate Cheat, whatever. I'll put it in the um, description. Um, and if you're all region, they put out some really high quality stuff. Night of Death is a great movie. I highly recommend you check it out. Then I also grabbed uh, The Living Dead Girls, I believe. That's what this movie is called. I have various, uh, multiple um, uh, releases of this film, so I am going to leave this one sealed for right now. But this movie is a lot of fun. It's a great zombie flick with a great twist. Um, if you like that, like 70s and 80s, gritty, uh, practical makeup effects, uh, you know, slow-moving, creepy zombie feel with a great twist. Um, I always forget the exact name of this movie, but it's something about living dead girls, I believe. Um, it's just not on here. Sorry, guys. But, uh, beautiful release, again. Um, and then, one of my favorites. Who doesn't love Slaughter High? Slaughter High is amazing. Um, yeah, I just picked this up because... It's freaking Slaughter High. <laughs> and I will 
I actually recently told myself, and I know I've said this before, but I am going to start toning it down quite a bit as far as purchasing like German media books because they're really expensive and I think it goes without saying that they're not really needed. They're more of just like a collector's piece because they're so freaking beautiful. Uh, but, I, you know, most of these releases have been put out in the U.S. by now and they have perfectly legit... Um, or what's the word? Perfectly fine, acceptable, whatever, releases. Um, still not the word that I'm thinking, but this movie's great. If you guys haven't seen Slaughter High, it's one of the best 80s slashers, I think, like second tier 80s slashers ever, uh, with the killer, with the jester's mask, and the music from um, Harry Manfredini. Sorry, it's super blurry, but it's just such a, such a classic movie. And I love the characters in this one. Um, and one of them reminds me of the uncle, the jokester guy, the, the jerk. Um, I forget his name, but he reminds me of my uncle. <laughs> so, classic. Goodness. Uh, everybody loves Slaughter High, so had to grab that one. And that's from um, X-Rated Entertainment, I guess is what it's called. Alrighty, and last but not least, uh, a Chinese ghost story series. So I tried to purchase this originally from Diabolic, but they sold out rather quickly, and so I put my uh, self down for to be reminded when they come in. And I got an email notification last week, and um, I jumped on it because I want I love ghost stories, and I've been really on like a kind of a ghost movie kick lately, just watching a lot of classics and. I love ghost stories, and I can never get enough of them. I've been watching a lot of like uh, of the uh, 88 Asia line of ghost films. So when I saw this, a Chinese ghost story series, I totally jumped on it. Um, so we have, I've never, I don't know anything about this, so let's check it out. Uh, it's, it's all in Chinese, but, so we have a Chinese ghost story. We have a Chinese ghost story 2 and a Chinese ghost story 3. So in a Chinese ghost story... Compelled by a heavy rainstorm, Ning Chan Chen trespasses on the Orchid Temple on his way to the village. Ning is awakened in the midnight and is attached to the bewitching music played by Neil Hasong. Ning falls in love with Ni in spite of the objection from a monk who lives in the temple. For Ning's true love, Ning betrays old evil who manipulates Ning <laughs> Ni to kill strong men. Sorry for his longevity. Yin comes to the rescue when Ning finally realizes Nia, sorry guys, uh, is a soul without body. So, honestly, not what I expected. When I when I saw Chinese ghost stories, I was hoping um, just that, Chinese ghost stories. But um, In a Chinese ghost story too, we have several years after his beloved Ni, so it's the same uh, story, I guess. Um... So, I'm really not sure what this is, but it seems like it's like some sort of three-part series, Fortune Star Entertainment put it out, uh, it's very Asian looking, but I'm going to check it out um, for sure. If you guys are familiar with this, cool, you get some reversible, uh, not reversible, but reversible image inside um, let me know compelled by a heavy rainstorm Ning Ta Chen trespasses on the orchid, orchid temple on his way to the village Ning is a waste it, uh, sorry there's so many like Nings and Nangs and Nongs and Nongs that I'm not sure who Yin is no I'm just kidding huh, um, but yeah so if you guys know anything about this please enlighten me because I don't know what I just read, but I'm going to check it out. So that's a Chinese ghost story, one, two, and three. And that's my update. So guys, have a great Saturday. Uh, thanks for watching, as always. Please, if you want to win that movie for free, just comment. Um, otherwise, like I said, if there's no activity in the next two days, it's, it's a wrap. We'll save it for uh, a 1,000. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Peace.